Hello, good morning all. Uh, this is Praveen here and I recently qualified AP RSET uh, and I got admission into, I got PhD admission into CSC. Yesterday results were announced. So I am making this video uh, to make you know the process of how AP RSET is conducted. So AP RSET is Andhra Pradesh Research Common Entrance Test. So due to this uh, COVID, this AP RSET is conducted through online, okay, At the counseling, uh, the allotment of seats, everything is, uh, the process is conducted through online. So this AP RSET, uh, uh, there are two types of categories. So the first category comes under those who qualified in AP SET, UGC NET, they are eligible for category one. They have only research methodologies. They don't have uh, computer science subjects exam. They, they have exam only on uh, research methodologies. And these research methodologies uh, uh, contain the same syllabus as of uh, UGC NET, like teaching aptitude, comprehension. So everything uh, uh, what UGC NET is, syllabus is covered, the, everything is covered in uh, part A, that is research methodologies. So what I have done is, I have gone through uh, an academy uh, part A, that is the research methodologies, uh, I have watched YouTube videos, I have watched live sessions uh, and I have uh, solved the previous year question papers uh, so that uh, I am able to clear this uh, part A and uh, I comes under category, I came under category 2, that is uh, it contains both part A and part B. Uh, why? Because uh, uh, while uh, registering to this APR set, I have not qualified AP set. So after registering into this APR set, I have qualified AP set. So I, I have not come under category 1. So I came under category 2. So category 2 contains part A and part B. So part A, same as I said that it contains research aptitude, uh, research methodologies and part B contains our computer science uh, subjects. So the syllabus exactly same as UGC net. So what I have done is part A, I completely gone through uh, an academy videos like uh, part A, uh, what syllabus does UGC net have. I have gone through those syllabus and I have solved the 25 uh, last year, 25 years, qu uh, previous question papers with solutions. So that uh, uh, most of the questions are covered from there and I have uh, cracked it. And coming to part B, I totally watched uh, Unify study uh, YouTube channel that is Priyanka Chatterjee ma'am's videos and I have gone through each and every material and I have cracked that. So once, if you qualified in written test, then you will have an interview. So interview, they will uh, give some dates. So uh, there is COVID, right? So uh, interview, they have called uh, only uh, two dates. Uh, we have uh, gone through those two dates and uh, we have uh, uh, cleared the interviews. In interview also, uh, they ask the questions like uh, uh, what is your research proposal, uh, whether your research proposal is on artificial intelligence or machine learning. Okay, So we need to, um, it's better to take one research proposal which is of latest and uh, my suggestion is to read uh, uh, the latest, uh, uh, what are the trends present in that particular uh, technology which you are selecting. So if you are selecting one research proposal, so you will, uh, uh, you will go through some references, right? So it's better to prepare those references as well. And they will ask questions in those references. And uh, after that, uh, uh, they will ask you uh, interview questions in the subjects which you have taught in your um, college and some uh, few uh, important subjects like uh, compiler design. It totally based on the interviewer. Why? Because if the interviewer is strong in compiler design, he will ask whether you know compiler design or not. If you say that you know compiler design, you will ask questions on compiler design. And they have uh, your written test marks with them and they will see those written test marks and uh, they will have some positive impression on you. And finally, they will allot some marks. Okay, so based on that marks, you will get uh, some ranks. Okay, so and my counseling is totally done uh, through online. Why? Because there are a lot of cases, uh, COVID cases. So the counseling is totally through online. So based on the rank, uh, we'll... Uh, uh, give some web options. So I have given some web options like uh, giving preferences. So as far as my state is concerned, uh, the top university is uh, JNTU Kakinada. 
and the second one is andhra university like that i have uh, given some preferences so based on that depending upon the rank uh, they will allot you a seat so i have i have written two examinations one is computer science applications which is uh, basically computer science not computer science engineering which is uh, bas basically computer science and i got fourth rank in that uh, state fourth rank in that and uh, the next one is computer science engineering in that i got 57th rank and uh, and that too i belong to general category and uh, by god's grace uh, i got uh, phd admission in jntu kakinar that is one top university in andhra pradesh so and uh, we need to report they will give some date to us we we'll, we need to report uh, in that date to the college by uh, by paying the university fees that's it so this is the process of getting a uh, process of writing apr set and process of qualifying in that and process of uh, counseling and finally how to get a uh, admission in that so i hope uh, you got a clear cut idea about that and my suggestion is to please subscribe unify study uh, channel and please uh, watch uh, priyanka chatterjee ma'am's videos it will be it will help you a lot why because uh, ma'am explains with heart so so that's it so i hope everyone will get benefited in their uh, fields thank you thank you very much and have a wonderful day thank you